Hey everybody, what's up? On this video, I'm going to show you how to spy on your competitors' keywords. Hey guys, what's up? Hernan Vasquez here. Welcome to another video and thank you once again for the support, the amazing amount of, of comments and everything that you guys have been giving me. It's truly, it's truly, truly amazing that I'm here, you know, trying to helping you out and you know, trying to upload a ton of value to the channel because that's the main idea of this channel. Now, on this video, I just wanted to show you real quick a great tool that I'm using to spy on my competitors' keywords when it comes to SEO or PPC. You know, this not only applies to SEO but to PPC as well, and also to uncover new opportunities for content. And what I mean with this is that. When you, uh, when you learn how to use this tool, which is called SEMrush, which is a great tool, I've been using it for you know, almost two years now, and it's a great overall marketing um, research tool because not only it works for SEO, but also for PPC. And now, I know that probably some of you guys are either not familiar with the tool or you have checked it out and you know, it's kind of confusing, so I wanted to make these uh, real quick video review video if you want on how I'm using SEMrush to uncover my competitors keywords You know the, the the keywords that they are ranking for and also to uncover new content opportunities That is the content that I want my, uh, my, my, my content and my websites to rank for because once you get a hold of a competitor and see what they are doing and how they are doing things it's much easier to go ahead and emulate that, gain the same amount of rankings and also gain a ton of traffic due to long tails. All right, guys, so let's jump into the computer. I'm gonna show you exactly how to uncover your competitors' keywords and also how to make keyword research so that you know exactly what to write about on your next post. So let's hop into the computer and I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, welcome to the good old PC where I'm going to show you how to use SEMrush to uncover keyword opportunities and, you know, basically spy on your competitors' keywords and also uncover new long tail keywords that you can use for your content marketing. I think that, to be completely honest with you guys, I think that SEMrush uh, is one of the best market tools out there, you know, in terms of both PPC and um, and SEO and if you ask me which tool to get when you're starting out I will definitely go for M, uh, for SEMrush because it's kind of a, the best overall uh, marketing keyword and, and marketing analysis keyword now you know there are probably some best tools when it comes to uh, backlink searching and you know some other best tools when it comes to competition uh, but I think that this is kind of the best overall tool for many, many purposes, you know, and I have a bunch of, I've been using SEMrush for, you know, pretty much uh, a year or so. So, and, and this is my process and I want to share with you guys a process that I go about using SEMrush when it comes to uh, determining and, and finding new keywords to rank for. Now, at the end of the video and the description below, I'm going to leave a coupon for SEMrush that's linked to my account, you know, full disclosure, that's going to be a, an affiliate coupon, but it will allow you to get a pro account for one month, okay? So you can test it out, you can check it out, you can see, you can play with it, and if you like it, you can keep it, and I'll get a commission. But, you know, that's basically because SEMrush guys are badasses, and, you know, they share with me a coupon, and I'm sharing it with you guys as well. So that's going to be in the description below, all right? So... Let's dive right into it. So on, on here I have, you know, anytime you put something here, uh, like I have, let's say that you have a competitor here. On this particular case, I have moss.com, all right? Which is an authority website and it has like 252,000 organic search. And you can see here it had, you know, it peaks, but uh, it's pretty much growing overall, you know, from January or maybe uh, mid, uh, 2013 to today and it's growing you know it's growing decently so this will be your competitor all right so you can do domain overview and phrase overview I'm gonna do domain overview because I want to see what's going on with Moss on the US 
And as you can see, you know, uh, SEM Rush. What I really, really like about SEM Rush, if you're doing some foreign SEO, you have a ton of other countries other, over here. Okay, you have like Bing, Asia, Australia, Europe, America. Here's Argentina as well. You know, you have Mexico, Brazil, Spain. I use Argentina, Spain a ton. You know, United Kingdom, Italy, Ireland, etc. So you have a bunch of uh, options when it comes to databases that SEM Rush manages. So let's dive right into the actual um, uncover of the keywords. So here on this opportunity, I'm going to go and see what Moss is ranking for. And just a caveat, guys, that you know, if you're going for keywords like Google or SEO, it's going to take or Twitter search, you know, let's go for the full report real quick. But if you go for these short tail keywords, it's going to take you first a ton of time, a ton of resources, and you're not entirely sure about the search intent. What do I mean with this? For example, let's see this SEO services. I'm pretty sure that this is, you know, this is a decently competitive keyword if you're trying to rank for this keyword or even bid into this keyword because you're bidding on a $30 CPC okay which is pretty high I would say you know they are higher but you know this is pretty high for a click so and the, the, the truth is that you know I could be searching for SEO services and I could be searching for pictures I could be searching for you know prices or I could be searching for anything. Uh, the, the keyword SEO services doesn't say much per se. So I think that when you're starting our project and you're using this tool, I think you can get a ton more bang for your buck if you're going for longer tail keywords that have lower searches, of course, that they have lower volume, they have lower amount of competi competition, but the search, the query or the visitor, the user is far further down the process of shopping, the shopping process, okay? So instead of SEO services, I will run for something like, you know, hire an SEO expert in Miami or something like that, which is super long tail. It's probably, you know, it's not gonna show any volume in here, but you know, if you are ranking for that keyword, there's a high probability you're ranking for other variations of that keyword and you'll get leads. That's what matters, guys, not volume, not ranking what matters is money and conversion, all right? So I would take a longer tail keyword any time of the day if, if, if the longer tail keyword makes the visitor further down the shopping process, all right, guys? So just so you know, if I'm not being clear, just leave me a comment below and I'll try to explain it further, but that's what I'm thinking when I'm thinking on SEO and how to uncover these opportunities. And this also applies for AdWords, okay? If you're doing CPC, if you're doing PPC, sorry, on AdWords, this also applies for you. You know, you will be bidding for SEO services and you may get some traffic. You will be shedding a ton of money, but the reality is that you're not entirely sure that this is a, you know, that this is a relevant keyword for if you're offering offer SEO services, you know, that's what I'm saying. So on this, you know, on this uh, screen, I would go to advanced filters. And remember guys that I want to I want to target those keywords that are low on competition and they are longer tail keywords. All right? So what I want to do here is to do some volume filtering. So I'm I'm going to include volume greater than let's say 1000 so it makes sense for me to optimize my website. And let's include the uh, volume as well as less than 2,000 okay so we'll have something in between all right between 1,000 and 2,000 queries or searches per month according to SEM Rush database and this will also help you guys if you're doing like Google Keyword Planner the same strategy uh, will also help you there but I really like SEM Rush because of the filters and whatnot and now what I want to do is to include positions um, greater than 10 because I want to see where Moz, this authority portal or this authority website is ranking on page number 2, right? And then what I want to do is position less than 20. So what I'm saying SEMrush is that SEMrush please go and bring back those keywords that have more than a thousand queries per month, that have less than 2,000 queries, so they're in between 
and they and that moss.com is ranking in position 10 greater than that 10 so position 11 up until 19 okay so that's uh, page number two if you find another kind of competitors i'm doing this because this is kind of a, an authority website but if you find any other kind of competitors like an affiliate website or you know um like uh yeah any other kind of seo website that you know that's um how to sell services, uh, how to sell SEO services.com or something like that, you know, that's highly optimized. Um, you want to tweak things a little bit. So instead of going for page two, you want to see what keywords they are ranking for on top five, all right? Because their SEO in their website, I, if they are SEO in their website and getting there, you want to do the same, okay, guys? But for the time being, let's roll with this and see what it does. So just for you know, this is live, okay? I'm recording this and doing this and, and in, uh, do it before so let's see what we can find here so we have you know a bunch of position 11 of course we have you know volume over here and the keyword difficulty this is kind of uh, something that I use sometimes more often than not I do not use it but let's see how it works let's uh, do it the other way around so the keyword difficulty less tomorrow okay so here we go so we have start, structured data testing tool. This could be a potential keyword, okay? If you know what this is, you know, I wouldn't go after this, but let's keep drilling down a little bit. So how to advertise on Google. Let's see what that brings, all right? I'm not entirely sure I want to target that, but let's see what that brings. So, well, we have google.com forward slash ads, okay? We have entrepreneur.com, HubSpot, you know, there, there's a bunch of WikiHow, there are a bunch of, you know, big authority websites, so I probably wouldn't go through that route. But let's see what we can find here. Digital Marketing Manager Salary. Let's see what that brings, okay? See what that brings. And then we have Payscale, Glassdoor, Indeed, Marketing Terms, Digital Marketing Institute, www.salary.com. We have a PDF, which is, you know, a good sign. We have a PDF. We have another PDF here, which is, you know, a good sign. We have these IE, which is, you know, kind of a weird uh, extension. So all in all, I would say that we have digital marketing manager salary. This is a exact match. So they are definitely optimizing for this. They are optimizing for this. They are optimizing. Well, they do not have it exactly on the description. But you know, I would say that this would be a fairly competitive keyword, maybe medium competition, a medium to low competition if you want to do this. Because again, we have two PDFs on the page one, which is, you know, a decent amount of money. No, sorry, a decent amount of, of, of competition. So, let's see what else we can find. How to delete a page on Facebook. This could be interesting, okay? If you're trying to sell a manual, if you're trying to sell a course, this could be interesting. So let's see what this brings. Okay, so we have a YouTube video, which is, you know, from starters, this is a good, this is a good um, sign. So how to delete a Facebook page. Um, then we have, let's see what we have here. We have WikiHow, okay. So I would say that this, how to delete a page on Facebook, that this is something that I would go. Because, you know, you have Facebook, of course, page one, but then we have a video. And then these guys are not entirely like askabouttech.com. Uh, they are not entirely optimizing for this keyword. You know, it doesn't say how to delete a page on Facebook. It, ha it says how to delete a Facebook fan page. How do I delete pages on Facebook? Okay. How to delete Facebook business pages. So this would probably be a good idea. Now let's move on. Uh, how do hashtag works? Remember, guys, that we're doing these on most. Most have, you know, a ton of different like terms, and they are ranked for pretty much every marketing term out there. So if you're doing this more specifically, better. But just to show you guys how I'm doing it. So here we have a Facebook help page, which is pretty interesting because these guys are clearly not optimizing the URL. We have a support.twitter.com, okay, which is good. Okay, we have Wikipedia, of course. We have Mashable which is, you know, a strong competitor. But all in all, we have help.instagram.com. These guys are not optimizing the, um, the URL. So all in all, I would say this is a decent keyword to go for. Okay, how do hashtags 
world. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, so how we have uh, we have another one. How do you delete delete a Facebook page? How to delete a, a page on Facebook? These are two um, two good terms, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's be a little more permissive here, and then let's reduce. Let's take up this one and let's move into maybe some keywords with more uh, with more searches okay so you can do this or you can either do this or you can you know um, or you can go for like a, a, a wider spectrum on search engines so let's see what we can have what we have seen so Facebook how to delete a page these are like low searches queries of course let's Let's add that filter back, but be more specific because we do not want to be optimizing for 10 searches a month keyword. Okay, we want something more, like more specific. So, greater than 100. Okay, so boom, here we go. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> so let's see here. All right, so we have some different uh, Facebook how to delete the page. This I do not have any idea what this is. I'm not gonna search for it just in case. Search Twitter by phone number. This could be a good idea, you know, because probably you have Twitter's help on page one. You have probably a how to, you know, search Twitter. We have support on Twitter.com, Mashable, Stack Overflow. This is another YouTube video, which is a good sign, okay? And these guys will also allow you to gather ideas for um, potential new articles, okay? So let's say that you have a social media blog. This could be a good point. How to delete a Facebook page could be a good post. Search Twitter by phone number could be a good post. Let's see what else we have. WordPress versus Wix. Um, most search thing on Bing. Wow, okay. I'm not sure what I'm going into, but let's see. Windows Central, Search Engine Watch. Reddit, okay. Yeah, probably this is not a good idea because we have Bing.com. We have, you know, if you, if you see like big authority websites on top five, I would rather not go after this. How to start a group on Facebook. Let's see that. Facebook.com help. This is probably a good sign. A good sign that's a YouTube video. Um, then we have a couple of Mashable, but again, you know, they're not optimizing how to secret Facebook group. You know, small businesses, ask they tailor.com. But this could be another good um, this could be another good topic for an article and it can add another 260 queries plus all of the others that we saw already, you know, which is you know maybe it would add up to another thousand, maybe two thousand queries per month to your website. Alright guys. So how do you how do I delete a Facebook page? So this is what I do when I'm trying to add new content to my website and also to see and to uncover new um, new keyword opportunities for my rankings and for my, you know, if, if you're doing like uh, backlinks for your anchor text profile. I mean, you can use this for a ton of different, uh, a different, um, a different uh, things but the main thing here is that you have a literal gold mine just by going through moss all right a literal gold mine of ideas for new articles uh, new keywords new anchor text etc okay guys so again if you want to test it out I'm gonna leave a link below with a coupon for one month of a free pro account and you know that has um, that has I think it will last for the next 15 days or so so if you're watching this video after that it probably won't work just drop me a comment or you know send me a Twitter message or join the Facebook group and you know I'll try to get another for you guys whenever possible alright guys thank you guys for watching once again leave me a comment subscribe if you love this content and I'll try to keep delivering as much as possible thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video Bye-bye.